Hi everyone. This is the Ocean County Library Teen Services Department. We want you to know that we truly miss speaking to you guys and seeing you in our teen zones, our library spaces, and spending time with you in our programs. We hope all of you are safe and well in this quarantine. Besides not seeing you in our libraries, we are also missing the opportunity of seeing you in your schools. Each spring, we come to our local branches, middle and high schools, and promote our latest and greatest YA books for summer read. Presently, our branches, like your schools, are currently closed, but our virtual library is open 24 hours, seven days a week. Because we are unsure when our libraries will be open to you, we decided to give our annual summer read talk a virtual spin. Each one of us from our home made a slide of our favorite reads. Each title that you will be seeing are available in our virtual library. They can be downloaded to or streamed on your computer, phone, tablet, or reading device. It is all free. All you need is your Ocean County Library card. Do you need a library card? Apply for one by going to our website, theoceancountylibrary.org. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page and then selecting sign up under get a library card. You'll then be brought to the option to fill out the library card application online. Once you fill it out completely, confirm that you are not a robot, submit your application and you'll receive an email with your digital library card number that can be used at any time. The titles presented in this video are available through the Hoopla website and app and the Overdrive website and Libby app. Please note that in our virtual libraries, there are no fines. Anything you check out expires on the due date and it is returned automatically. Hoopla offers live streaming of audiobooks, ebooks, and graphic novels located under comics. Since Hoopla is a digital streaming platform, the collection is always available. You can access Hoopla through their website at hooplaDigital.com or download the app. Libby and Overdrive are also available. Unlike Hoopla, they do not stream and are considered single borrow items. Libby is the new app for Overdrive. It is available for iPad, iPhone, and Android device. Overdrive is the original and works with a wider range of devices, such as e-readers. Both have access to the same library of books. To access Overdrive, go to ocl.overdrive.com. All digital materials can be found on the oceancountylibrary.org forward slash downloads. If you do not have a library card or cannot access yours, OCL is now offering free temporary digital library cards to all students. An active email address is all that you need. Once you read your books, don't forget to go back to the Ocean County Library website and record those reads on our Summer Read Challenge for a chance to win some awesome giveaways. For every five books read, you earn a virtual raffle ticket. Now, if you only need one book as a requirement for Summer Read, you can print out the one book badge and your book review as proof. Summer Read Imagine Your Story Challenge starts mid-June at theoceancountylibrary.org slash beanstack.
Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about the book This Is My Brain in Love by I.W. Gregorio. This is the story of two high school students from two seemingly different worlds. Jocelyn is the daughter of struggling Chinese immigrants whose Chinese restaurant is on the verge of closing for good, and Will is from a well-off Nigerian-Italian-American family. Jocelyn hires Will as an intern to help save the business and bring the restaurant into the 21st century by helping build its social media presence. It doesn't take long for the two to form a relationship as more than just friends, but will racial prejudice and the uncertain future of the family business get in the way? Told in dual narrative, this book is great for fans of realistic fiction, teenage romance, and stories about diverse family backgrounds. Just a warning though, this book will make you hungry. Let's just say that if you're a fan of dumplings and pot stickers, this is the book for you. When my mother and I left Korea, she told me that we're going on a vacation to Alabama. When we got there, she got married and we never went back. Fortunately, my mother found a comic book class and I was finally able to make my first American friends. I think it's incredibly important for kids to have something they can be passionate about because without it, I don't know if I could have made it through. Get in quick, get out quicker. That was the job. Then I realized what I had my hands on. I'm the only one who can catch the killer. I wake up to pain. My foot throbs with each push of my heart, which I can't imagine means anything good. And I'm freezing. No, I correct myself, knowing that once I start using words like that, I might have to learn a hard lesson about the difference between being cold and actually dying from it. That's what freezing is. And I'm not dead. Yet.
They Called Us Enemy by George Takai is a non-fiction graphic novel biography where George Takai revisits his childhood in a Japanese internment camp in the U.S. during World War II. George Takai has captured hearts and minds worldwide with his captivating stage presence and outspoken commitment to equal rights. But long before he braved new frontiers in Star Trek, he woke up as a four-year-old boy to find his own birth country at war with his father and his entire family forced from their home into an uncertain future. In this graphic memoir, Takai describes his haunting childhood in American concentration camp as one of over 100,000 Japanese Americans imprisoned by the U.S. government during World War II. You experience the forces that shaped an American icon and America itself in this gripping tale of courage, country, loyalty, and love. Thank you for listening. Hard to love, I can never get enough. But then sometimes you're too much. I'm down, then I'm up. I know I'm hard to love. I know I'm hard to please. I'm never happy, it seems. But you put my heart at ease when it's crashing like the seas. I know I'm hard to please. Baby, if it were What if Belle's mother was the enchantress that cursed the beast? In this retelling of the classic fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast, Belle touches the beast's enchanted rose and her mind is flooded with images of her mother, who Belle thought she would never see again. Shocked, Belle learns that her mother enchanted the beast, his castle, and all of the castle's inhabitants. What mystery surrounds the families of Belle and the beast? Can they unravel the curse before the beast is enchanted forever?
In Julie Murphy's book, Dumplin', Willa Dean Dixon, or Will as she's known to her friends, and Dumplin' as she's known to her mom, enters the town beauty pageant led by her former beauty queen mom to prove to everybody that this self-proclaimed fat girl is just as beautiful and just as deserving as anybody else in the town. Along the way, she learns some lessons, has some fun, and shocks the town. Read Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. first poem in Shout. It's called Prelude, Mike Test. This book smells like me, wood smoke, salt, honey and strawberries, sunscreen, libraries, failures and sweat, green nights in the mountains, cold dawns by the sea. This book reeks of my fear, of depression's black dogs howling, and the ancient shames riding my back, their claws buried deep. This book is yesterday's mud dried on the dance floor, the step patterns cautiously submitted for your curious investigation of what I feel like on the inside.
this is Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, and this is high fantasy at its best. Um, I was kept referring to this as like kind of like Game of Thrones, but not in a bad way. It's not like a copy of it exactly, but there's, you know, dragons for one. And there's like a medieval setting, there's lots of politics. It just had that kind of a feel, which was really, really awesome. So it's about Annie and Lee. Um, they're the main characters, but there's actually a ton of characters that you'll come to know that are that are very different and very cool. Uh, Annie was from a very poor family. Her parents were, her village was actually destroyed by dragons when she was a child. And Lee was part of the old regime of the dragon riders that was overthrown. So his parents were murdered. And they were raised in the same orphanage, so they have a really strong bond, and they're best friends. So now they're 17, and, or 18 or something, and training to be the dragon riders of their city to protect the new regime. And there's only one person that can be top dragon rider, so there's, you know, a lot of competition there. Not just amongst Annie and Lee, but some of the other kids that um, are there, too. And some of the char other characters are real jerks. Some of them are really kind-hearted. They're just all very different. They come from all different backgrounds. So, you know, while that's going on, there's also this, you know, this lingering talk of the old regime coming back. They've apparently fled, some of them, and are in hiding, wait, waiting till they can come back and take back the city. So they get in touch with Lee, and, like, they're trying to get him on their side because he has insider information. He's got access to a lot of stuff being on the higher end of the regime there. So he really has to decide if he's going to stick with his friends um, in this new regime that he's helped create that is good and bad and or you know go back with his family so there's a lot of tension a lot of action just, this was just a really great book from beginning to start or beginning to end start to end and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the books in this series this should be really great a book that you're interested in? Not a problem. Go to the Ocean County Library website and go on to our concierge service. Tell us what you're interested in. What was the last good book you read? Or what was the last good movie you saw? And we'll find a book that will suit you. We have thousands of books to choose from. Thanks guys. We had a great visit. If you're interested in community service hours this summer, we will be offering our sale 
volunteer program virtually. So check back at our website after June 1st for applications and have a great summer.